Welcome to Farmington, Maine, home of the University of Maine at Farmington, and some of the most fertile soils in the state, if not New England. Ground zero for amazing shopping, and one of the most stable towns in Maine. Here's a perspective for you. There are a select few college towns in Maine that can rival the beauty, safety, and personality of Farmington. Truly, if Farmington was a fruit, it would be an apple. Gorgeous, compact, irresistible, and always leaves you with a satisfyingly refreshing taste in your mouth. It's like that. This quaint historical town of 7,592 western Mainers is about an hour and a half north of Portland, 51 minutes from Augusta, and just over 2,700 miles from the Grand Canyon. In other words, Farmington is just a short drive from the best Maine has to offer. If you order a seafood meal here, it will be as if you are near the coast, fresh, authentic, and supporting our local economy. Let's start right off with Farmington's enticing recreational attributes. This is your destination if you are into kayaking, canoeing, or fishing. Within the town's borders is Temple Stream Reservoir, Clearwater Pond, the famous Sandy River, Wilson Stream on the southern border, and too many trout brooks to count just waiting to serve up some exciting challenges. Did you know that the earmuffs were invented in Farmington? They were, and the town celebrates with a parade on the first Saturday of December each year. Now you know. Let's talk about hiking. Perhaps you and your family favor hiking, or you need to get into hiking. Farmington will not disappoint. Whistle Stop Rail Trail is a 15.5 mile four season multi-use rail trail that runs from Farmington and through J and Wilton. Dogs are permitted. There are no fees. In the winter, you can use a snow sled, in the summer, horses and ATVs are allowed. There's also Mosier Hill Falls on the very north end of town. There is Titcom Mountain Hiking Trail on the southwest side of town. And I would recommend checking out your favorite hiking app for further insights. Did you know that there are over 10,000 miles of snowmobile trails in Maine? It's true. And the Shire Town Riders Snowmobile Club is busy year-round maintaining trails, doing fundraisers, organizing work days, writing grants, communicating with landowners, and so much more. You can follow them on Facebook, join their club, and help with the important mission of keeping the area trails safe and and enjoyable. How about skiing? Continuing on our theme of recreation, how many towns in Maine have a handy, affordable mountain to ski on? If you don't think Farmington could be more ideal, it is. Just outside of town on the southwest side is adventurous Titcom Mountain. Not only is Titcom Mountain the second oldest ski mountain in the country, it is the oldest in the state of Maine. You will need to don your favorite winter jacket head on over and discover why this is the friendliest mountain around. Check them out at titcomemountain.com. Parks. How about parks? Who doesn't like and enjoy a stroll in the park? Farmington has plenty of locations to stretch a leg. In town and on Prescott Street is Abbott Park, which is not your typical park and is a pretty sight to behold. Also in town is Lincoln Street Green, both of which these two parks are right handy for college students. On the north side of town are the Powderhouse Hill Trails and Bonnie Woods Memorial. Did you know that Maine's current Democrat Governor Jan Janet Mills and her older brother, Republican Maine State Senator Peter Mills, were born here in Farmington. Now you know. Here's two items of interest. The first, 
Sandy River Farms. As you are approaching Farmington from the east on Route 2, there will be a year-round farm operation bringing you the freshest farm produce imaginable. They are a must-check out on Facebook for their latest offerings, which is anything from meat to baked goods. Seriously, this is a must-stop destination. Wait, there is more. You can order baked goods. Imagine you are studying for your finals there at the university and need something to carry you through. Place an order, head out to the farm, stock up, good to go. The next item of interest is the Farmington Fair, which by the way is within easy walking distance from the university. This would be the Farmington Fairgrounds, which has been introducing youngsters and folks from away to Maine agricultural culture since 1840. That is 20 years after Maine separated from Massachusetts and became a state. The fairgrounds are silent now, but after the snow melts, in May or August, whenever that happens, all hands will be on deck to prepare for the third week of September when hundreds of children will be wide-eyed and full of expectations for their first time going to the great Farmington Fair. Even old codgers will be kicking up a heel as we all line up for food, rides, races, and shows. Imagine 183 years of fairs. That is even longer than some of our senators have been in Washington. Now remember, it's the third week of September in the year 2024. That will be through the dates of the 15th of September through the 21st. We'll see you there. Next, let's talk a little bit about shopping. From east to west on Route 2 through the entire town of Farmington and all throughout downtown, there are fantastic opportunities to shop. No need for Amazon if you are here in Farmington. This is a friendly town and genuinely thorough in their attempts to get you what you are looking for. From the We Have Everything store, which is called Rennie's, to boutiques, clothing stores, crafts, as I mentioned, Sandy River Farms, the cabin, which is a solar-powered farm stand, Mainstone Jewelry, Frost Antiques, the list goes on, and you are just going to have to complete the list as you stroll about town and drive around. You can also check out Western Maine Market.com, and you can order online and pick it up local. How convenient is that? And oh, let's not forget the farmer's market that is outdoors in the good weather and in the winter they are at the St. Joseph Center on Quebec Street. How about the fire department? If we learned anything from history, we would be grateful for Farmington's fire department. If you look into the history books back in October 22nd, 1886, 33 houses, 19 stores, 3 churches, the county jail, and the post office all went up in flames. Today, thanks to Chief Hardy and his well-trained crew, they are professionally preoccupied with providing fire and rescue protection, promoting fire safety, and education to those within the community. Check out their website. Did you know that snowboarding gold medalist Seth Westcott went to school here? Now you know. How about the police department? Did you know there are 146 police departments in Maine? Farmington, Maine Police Department is one of only 15, that's 1-5, 15 to receive accredited status. Hold your head high, Chief Charles, and congratulations to you and your department. To you parents who are thinking of sending a loved one in Farmington, rest easy. I've seen firsthand how thorough the police force and sheriff's department are. Believe me, I know. They are good. They are professional, pleasant, courteous, and have pause for a moment of silence, K-9 Hook, who is the favorite on the force. 
Now, of course, the schools in town are the University of Maine at Farmington. If you are watching this video because you're interested in going to college here, you likely could tell me more about the college than I know. But I will offer up a note of gratitude. Thanks to the university, Farmington has become a nurturing center for arts and culture with events and displays. There is a beautiful harmony between campus and community. Now over at the school department, Blue Hill High School serves Farmington, Weld, Temple, Wilton, Chesterville, New Vineyard, Industry, New Sharon, Starks, and Vienna. Christian Elkington serves as superintendent of schools, and his hands are full, but a smile on his face. There are six schools for elementary and middle, and then Mount Blue Campus, which houses the high school, tech center, and adult ed. How about jobs? Farmington has jobs. From education, law enforcement, graphics, retail, agricultural, nonprofit, law, health, technologies, and so much more. If you're looking, they're hiring. This is where we talk about Franklin Memorial Hospital. If you're from, say, Denver, or Lemister, Mass, or Flanders, New Jersey, and you're accident prone and happen to be attending college here, you will be thrilled to know that the Franklin Memorial Hospital is staffed with the best of the best. A dear friend works here, and with her training, she could easily be working at any of the best hospitals in Boston. But nope, she's right here. This area is a magnet for talent. Now, I have a question for you. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.